Hi dear students, let's see this question that came in J Advance Paper 2 Physics in the year 2020. This question was from the topic of electrostatics and I'm sure that all of you would have seen this question while you were preparation, while you were preparing for IIT. This is a very very famous question but because of one particular word mentioned in the option, this again became a highly ambiguous question and this was much talked about. But again, to the dismay of many students, many good students, let me tell you, IIT did not revoke their answer and they stick, uh, they stuck to their uh, original answer, which in my opinion is not correct. So let us see what is happening over here. Two spheres of same mass are suspended in air by a common point by two non-conducting massless uh, string of same length. In equilibrium, this angle between the string is alpha. So now they are immersed in a liquid of density 800 and directed constant 21 and the angle remains the same. So we have to comment upon whether electric force has uh, remained same or uh, between these spheres it has remained same or it has reduced. We have to compute the density of these spheres and we have to uh, f uh, comment upon the tension whether it remains the same or unchanged. So how do we do this? Again see if, if, you, if you see carefully initial situation is this when they are not dipped in any liquid so this angle is alpha so we can say that this angle will be alpha by 2 right so if, if you see one of these spheres so there are three forces acting on this tension gravity and this will be electrostatic repulsion if we apply Lamy's theorem and uh, balance the electrostatic force and gravity so directly we can say that electrostatic force which is k q square where q is the charge on both these spheres q and q so kq square by r square where r is this distance so kq square by r square this is the electrostatic force divided by sine of this angle which will be 180 minus alpha by 2 because if you see carefully this angle will be alpha by 2 right so this angle will be alpha by 2 right so this angle will be 180 minus alpha by 2 so sine of 180 minus alpha by 2 anyway is alpha by 2. So electrostatic force divided by sine of this equals to mg upon sine of this. m ko we can write volume into density of this sphere which is what we have to find into g mg upon uh, this angle right. So this is alpha by 2 and this is 90. So 90 plus alpha by 2 is sine of 90 plus alpha by 2 is cos of alpha by 2. So from here we get V rho V rho S G is equals to this whole thing or we don't even need to write this. Let's continue. Now once they are dipped in the liquid of density 800 and dielectric constant 21 net force on these spheres like net electrostatic force on this sphere will reduce by the factor of 21 net electrostatic force will reduce by the factor of 21. The angle has been given to be same. So we can say that kq square by r square was the original force. Let's reduce this by a factor of 21. Angles have not changed so we can directly write this as sin alpha by 2. That will be equals to net mg effective. So we can say that mg will be acting in a downward direction and buoyance force will come into picture in the upward direction. So this is mg minus buoyance force which is v into density of liquid which is 800 into gravity divided by cos of alpha by 2. Now you can see that if you take 21 this side and cos alpha by 2 this side so we can just bring cos alpha by 2 this side so this expression uh, we can equate the value of this expression like if you bring cos alpha by 2 this side so whatever we will get here so that is v rho sg that will be cos 2 if you bring cos alpha by 2 this side and 21 on the right side so we will be left with 21 into V G common rho S minus 800, right? V G will be gone. So this will become uh, rho S equals to 21 rho S minus 21 into 800. So this will become 20 rho S is equals to 21 into 800. So which gives us 840. So density of these spheres is 840 kg per meter cube which is easy to find and hence option C is correct. 
tension in these strings holding these spheres remains unchanged this will be wrong because it is easy to see that uh, initially the tension cos alpha by 2 will be mg and finally tension cos alpha by 2 will be effective of mg and buoyance so mg and buoyance uh, like because of the uh, because of the involvement of the buoyance force tension will have to change its value so it will remain it will not remain same it will change so these two options were quite easy now the option a and b is what uh, created the dilemma iit had given option b correct so according to iit these two were the correct options they have said that electric force between these spheres will reduce but i am sure that all of you know this that electric force between these sphere does not reduce net force on these spheres uh, will reduce because of the polarization of the medium uh, the medium also starts applying the force on the sphere in the opposite direction because of the polarized fields. Hence, the net force on the sphere reduces. But if you talk about the force between the spheres itself, then that force remains constant. So, since the option is clearly saying electric force between these spheres, hence it would have remained unchanged. So, according to me, option A was a better option. If this question comes in Olympiad or any other international level exam, then most certainly option A will be taken as the correct answer. Now, one argument can be given uh, in the favor of IIT that they go what is prescribed in, they go by what is prescribed in the NCRT. And in NCRT, it is mentioned that the electric force between these spheres will reduce because I think NCRT believes that electric force between these spheres is the net force. But in my opinion, this is not right. So, according to me, whenever there is a clash in what is correct and what is given in NCRT, uh, I think, you know, uh, it should not, such type of things should not be asked. So, my take is, had I been the student, I would not have marked option, I would have marked option A. Or better, I would have left it out if I was aware of the fact that in NCRT what is given, then I would have left it out in order to avoid negative. That is my take. I hope you would have enjoyed this solution. Thank you.